No flower in the world represents love in such an exotic way. But like love, they're a riddle to maintain. Hey Z, how are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Got you another orchid? You shouldn't have. I know you love them. Really, you shouldn't have. Oh. Let's go and get something to drink. How have the kids been actually? They've been well, you know. Mom of two, two toddlers, I'm navigating my way through it all. It's, you know, each day is, is a new day. Each day has its new challenges, but it's got to be the most beautiful blessing in my life. Speaking of, you always keep it quite healthy as well. One of the greatest change I made to my family's diet is making a juice every morning. And yes, it got me into shape for shape. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like doing a shoot like that? It was incredible, you know, it was a little daunting, um, but it was also a really proud moment because I'm a mother of two and it was also a dream come true. And what are you busy with these days? I plan on going back into television next year. It was very important for me to spend the first couple of years with my kids so that I could give them that quality time of divided attention but media and broadcasting and drama runs through my veins and I look forward to getting back onto TV maybe even a gardening show and master orchid grower Tina's Oberholzer is an expert Tina how are you brother well in you I'm good man it's my Hello. friend Zareda nice good to meet you. you she just can't seem to look after an orchid and I just bought a new one and I'm worried it's gonna die and she has an event coming up and she's using orchids so please tell me you have some tips for her this is a question we get asked quite a lot so let's go and have a look with a man busy writing a book on growing orchids in South Africa, we were in safe hands. Tinus, I see there are so many different species of orchid in here. Yes, um, the orchid family is actually one of the biggest in the world. We're talking about about 25,000 different species, and the hybrids that, that you find is close to half a million. Do they each get taken care of differently? Yes, definitely. Uh, it depends on the type, so you need to know which type of orchid you've got. Yeah. Some can grow indoors and some you must grow outside. If you look at something like this dancing lady, it's got a sort of a narrow type leaf, which is an indication that they need a lot more light. Um, these can take cooler com conditions um, and they can grow outside. Whereas if you look at something like this Phalaenopsis or moth orchid, they've got quite broad leaves, which means they've adapted to growing in more shady conditions. Yeah. Those are the ones that you can grow indoors. Is it possible to revive a dead orchid? <laughs> dead orchid, no, but sort of sad orchid, yes, maybe. <laughs> okay, sad. <laughs> Yeah, um, there are various things that you, which you can do. Um, first thing that you need to know is to make sure that you know what type of orchid it is, because that will give you an idea of how you need to look after it, sort of light and, and water conditions and things like that. Um, and then temperature, that's, that's a very important thing. Um, a lot of the um, orchids are sort of killed because of low temperatures or people not knowing what to do with them. Or putting them in water when they should not be in water. That's a very important thing. For <laughs> some um, people. Yeah. You need to remember that they like a lot of water, but they must never stand in water. They're not water oh. plants. If you want to know how to show them off, you ask James Sonnenberger, two-time Interflora National Designer of the Year champion. Are there any absolute no-nos when it comes to flower arrangements? There are certain things that are, are frowned upon, but anything goes, really. I'm an artist, so I'm going to do my thing, Perfect. and I'm yes. going to win. I think, no, no. <laughs> just make sure you don't kill your flowers there. Let's uh, get started. <laughs> Balancing assorted skills as a DJ, actress, presenter, and journalist, Zureda did likewise here. You do know they're going to vote to see who's the best, right? Um, I am fully aware of that, Samba. Uh -huh. Do you have no faith in me? <laughs> but you know stranger to competition at all, though, right? Strictly come dancing. Yeah, that was certainly one of the highlights of my life, which I, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, but, you know, my life right now is about family and taking time out with my husband. What do you do to relax anyway? We love to go away. We love getting into nature. We thoroughly enjoy going to Cape Town. We enjoy cycling together oh, nice. or going for massages together. Do you guys still have date night? Oh, absolutely. Josh and I go out once a week religiously and my daughter is very sweet. She, when it comes to, to, to date night, once a week she calls it day night and she begs us not to go out for day night. <laughs> well, you know, I'm always asking men what's the most romantic thing they've done for their wife. What's the most romantic thing you've done for Josh, actually? You know, I surprise him all the time yeah. with, with little simple things like making his, um, his favorite meal when he least expects it or um, giving him time off from the family when he's really stressed out at work. You know, it's, it's the little things that, that count in, in my relationship. Esther looks beautiful. Hey? 
Uh, Simba, I think I think that you took that too literally when James said that there that there are no rules. What do you mean? But this looks beautiful. Their judge took a first at the Floral World Cup, so no pressure. Voila. Yeah, uh, it looks okay. It's, it's all right. Look, mine mean? is special. Look at that. It's art. That. What do you think, James? What do you think? I like your grouping, but you should have gone lower because you can see all your aces and your anthuriums as well. They, they look like two ears. You should rather have. That was the there. inspiration for my kids and and Mickey Mouse, and it was all intentional. Enough about yours. Come, let's take a look at mine here. Honestly. So he's, he's stunned. He's speechless, even. So James, between the two bouquets, which, in your opinion, is the better, prettier? Looking one. I must say that one. My what? one? Yes. Okay, it's great. You didn't see that. Let's edit that out. Okay, <laughs> let's take this to Twitter to and mommy. Facebook. No, Twitter and Facebook. Oh, okay. Guys, at SABC3 top billing, Zoraida or Simba. Zoraida's been awesome. Good to Zareda. see you again, eh?